Hey people, Anthony for Before Diesel. Really super important video for everybody buying common rail injectors new. Um, and this is exactly what I so It's Monday morning, this is virtually live. I'm packing an injector kit, it's pumping it out one after the other Monday mornings. Um, you know, the text message, 7.30am. But the point is, I want to demonstrate exactly this is why we open and check all parts and all components. Because if I didn't and I sent this to you, you'd be going, oh no, and then there's a question mark, did you drop it, that sort of thing, right? So we check everything. Now, obviously, this is the box some of the injectors come in. Looking at the box, let's just take a look. You can see at the ends, there's no damage on that end of the box. You can actually see the lid up at this end. You know, it's all in good condition. Hasn't even got a mark on the box. Now, I've had a lot of boxes damaged and no damage injectors or minimal damage. I have had damage injectors, actually, but what I'm saying is I've had a lot damaged that the injectors themselves aren't damaged. So we get out of the bag, there's a few things we need to check. We need to check that it's the right injector because I've been through the details. A lot of them get repackaged. Um, I'm only gonna supply you brand new, genuine, fresh stock injectors, but you might get something else if you're buying injectors anywhere, including a lot within Australia. I'm talking about hundreds and hundreds of injectors or thousands of engines that could be getting somebody else's old injectors. You're not gonna get that from me. You're not going to get broken injectors and you're not going to get the wrong injectors. So first thing we do, we open them up, we check them out, make sure they're the right injector for what's meant to be in the box, for what we're supplying for that particular vehicle. And then we check for damage. And particularly on this plastic salon here, you can see that one. It's all good. And you can have a look at this one. It's all bad. So you can see it's broken, right? No damage on the box even. Look at that. You know, that's meant to be, you know, not broken like that. So that is a no good. That's a rubbish injector. That will be going back to uh, one of our suppliers. We've got a number of different suppliers. And because of the quantity we buy, there'll be no arguments or anything. It'll just get replaced. Um, obviously, somebody's dropped it at some stage, whatever the case may be, or in transit, in freight, somewhere between Japan and here and there and all around Australia where they get repackaged and then finally getting to us. At some point, somebody's damaged it, and it's certainly not us. You can see the box isn't even damaged, which is the surprising part. So it could have been, as I say, when they're handling them, taking them out of the boxes, repackaging them from the brown boxes that they come in from Japan, perhaps somebody, you know, they're wrapped in bubble wrap and whatever, but if they've dropped it and it's gone cook like that, and then they didn't know or check it, and they just thought hopefully everything's okay, and they just put it back into the box here and get sent out to someone. But clearly you can see there's the damage right there. So anyway, if you want to get one of our injector kits, you know the deal. We can't service everybody. We can only service people in Australia and the ones that listen. And Monday morning, text message at 7.30am, just like everybody else did. You think it's hard to only buy parts off me one day a week? Well, there's only one of me, unfortunately, and I need other days to do other things. And I, it might even change in the future that we're going to have a parts day once a month. It might go over two or three days, but the order day might be once a month. So stay tuned, subscribe, turn the bell on, stay in the loop to make sure you don't miss that information. Get on our Facebook page, The Prada Hospital. That's also information keeps you up to date in the loop. And all those Facebook groups we show, just keep watching videos and you'll get the information you need out of those videos. You'll know what you need, when to get it, when to do it, when not to. Lots of people still asking questions and uh, it's just demonstrating they haven't seen the videos yet. So thanks for watching this one. Bit of a short one. Just thought I'd explain. Now you know why it's all been opened, repackaged. You know why it's packed the way it is so that this can't happen to you. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.